want to start with you, Park. Uh, what attracted you to this material to turn it into a film? Mm. When you read the novel in part one, there is the first bed scene between the two women, two characters. Now, these women, they uh, obviously love each other, but they are hiding it from each other also. And they would, uh, one would ask the question, what do men want? What happens uh, on the on wedding night? Uh, and the other would teach her, well, this is what happens, uh, I'll show you. So it ostensibly takes on the form of one person teaching the other and the other learning uh, how you make love. And I thought, how funny, and yet there's something sad about it. But in any case, it was an exquisite scene that made me want to say that I want to turn this into a film. There is a sadness to it, but there's also this great romanticism and melodrama, and it's also a thriller. Uh, balancing those tones, uh, can you talk a bit about that? Well, I'm not so sure what to tell you, but right from the script, uh, uh, script writing stage all the way through to the end where I would get in the uh, sound mixing stage and put everything together like that. What uh, uh, I consider as being the most important elements is to, uh, more than thinking about just one element, like what should happen next or uh, is this too much? Do I have to make something more sensual? Can I skip over a certain, certain part? What I try to do is not to have it feel like it's a mishmash of uh, 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 just a uh, uh, boiling pot of, of everything that I chuck into the pot. It does need to uh, contain a variety of elements, but in terms of how to strike that balance, I don't, I'm not sure. It's, uh, there's nothing that can, uh, I can only uh, have a lot of discussion with with the people I'm working with, especially the actors, but also including the DP and everyone to talk about um, how, uh, what the right balance would be. Speaking of actors, Kim, you know, you've been in some short films before. This is your big uh, uh, breakthrough, let's say, uh, and you're working with a very esteemed filmmaker. I mean, you must feel a bit like your character uh, being thrust into this very opulent world all of a sudden. Uh, Talk a little bit about the experiences uh, from your end of, of going into the movie. As you say, actually, I feel that uh, uh, a lot of my personal experience is uh, closely in connection with uh, Suki's experience in the movie. Um, of course, Suki did uh, plot uh, to uh, throw herself into uh, the situation, but she experiences this opulent world for the first time, the big mansion and everything. And for me, as an actor, uh, this is the first time that I was working as part of a film with a big, big, and director part, big budget. Yes, big budget. Uh, so in a way, um, there were those parallels, and I think it really was reflected into my performance of uh, Suki. And what did he give you as a director that helped you out with this? First of all, he had a lot of conversation with me uh, to make sure that uh, I'm not nervous going into it. And uh, he really helped me by uh, building this trust. I was really able to trust, trust him in working uh, with him.